Whether you are a veteran player or brand new to the franchise, Octopath Traveler has a lot of things that make the game unique and interesting. For example, Octopath Traveler 2 has a battle feature that allows you to two times the battle speed. A small little detail, but it makes a world of difference when grinding or pushing your way to the next story beat. Here are five tips to get you started in Octopath Traveler 2. The game allows you to rewatch cutscenes from previous chapters. If you are anything like me, you can easily get sidetracked in games like this, traveling from one part of a story to the next, then to come across a path you haven't seen before, only to lead you to a cave system. Next thing you know, it's hours or even days later till you remember you were doing a story quest. Well, if you open up the journal and go to a character who you want to refresh her on, you can read a recap of their chapters or even rewatch their cutscenes entirely. While on the topic of character stories, every character has a beginning chapter that not only introduces you to them and why they are about to set out on their journey, it also introduces their path actions and gives a bit more meaning as to why and how they work for each character. Without getting into too much detail for spoilers sake, each character has their path actions that directly tie into their story. While path actions play an important part of the game overall, allowing you to gather info on hidden items or knock out townspeople to access hidden areas, Gathering or collecting each party member as soon as possible is probably the first thing I'd recommend doing. This is also because party members do not scale with your level. No matter how far into other stories you get or how high of a level you are, any new party member will start at level 1. So bringing them into your party as early as possible and doing their chapter 1 will allow you to keep them all around the same level. It's also important to note that they have to be in your active party to gain XP or JP. So keep them on a rotation to keep those levels as even as possible. So this is the point of the video where I'll tell you some trivia and in return you gotta like and subscribe to the video. Only about 5% of you are subscribed and I'd like to get that number up. So did you know Drafindi, the patron god for the hunter job in the original Octopath Traveler, literally means hunter in Old English? One thing that makes having the hunter Ochet or the scholar Oswald in your party so important is their ability to see the enemy's weaknesses early in battle. Ochet, when starting her origin story, or chapter 1, will be asked to pick between two companions, the fox or the owl. Why this matters is because she can use one of those to directly attack and discover a weakness in an enemy. The fox will attack a weapon weakness and the owl will attack an elemental weakness. As for Oswald, he has a skill called Analyze, revealing not only one weakness but also the health of an enemy. And if you use BP, you can reveal up to 5 weaknesses on a single enemy if it's maxed out. Having at least one of these on your team is essential to making battles much easier and less time consuming, searching for weaknesses to break shields. Saving your BP to deal the most damage is how you can effectively and quickly take enemies out and make boss battles much less of a hassle. For example, if you have a boss that has 6 shield points till it breaks, you might be tempted to use all of your BP to max out an attack and deal as much damage as possible. But you won't do that much damage if the shield points are still there and the shield has not been broken yet. Take the time to break the shields then max out your BP and go all out for their weaknesses. Breaking an enemy before trying to deal damage is way more important than just going for brute force. Especially when you get to late game bosses, breaking those shields becomes essential to your survival. Speaking of late game survival, you want to get all the jobs to take full advantage of your characters and equip them with their secondary jobs. You can find each of the 8 main jobs around the world, but there are 4 secret jobs that are very powerful when paired with the right character. So check out this video here for that, and if you haven't bought the game yet and are still on the fence, be sure to check out the link below on how to get that. See you guys in the next one. Peace.